Hey, what's going on guys? Hex coming back into death to bring a video and as always down the title below will be the topic we're talking about today So we're talking about golden Kamui episode 3 man and to find out that Kamui actually means God Apparently at least to Anu, you know from what a spirit says it was pretty cool I'll just start out with that But this episode was really just kind of like I guess somewhat showing like the mechanics of the world in, in, in a sense And or just I guess straight up world building for you know I guess a better term to use and or more understandable one because, I mean, let's start off with the bear, you know. We find out that bears do not, they're like somewhat hibernating if there's ice in front of their den, you know, if it's hanging down. And we also find out that apparently bears won't kill someone that comes into the, to their den. And I'm sure that's just like an intimidation thing. And that's more just like, all right, you're something that's dangerous. If you're willing to come into my den, then yeah. Unless there's some other secret to it. I mean, we'd have to find out from Sugimoto. <laughs> I mean, he's the one that did it. So, like, I mean, I don't know. Now, other than that, though, we found out that that wolf is actually one of the only wolves left, and that's, you know, that's something I wonder, like, why, why is there only one left? Why have they died off? You know, what, what happened? How did this come about? You know, that's my biggest question right now. So, to find that out, that's something else, yeah, that's something else that opens up another pool of questions, you know, essentially, right? And that's what this show should do, you know, it's making us ask questions about, like, in or, I guess, being curious just in general, as a whole, not necessarily about the most important things, but about the subtle details, and that's something that a show should do, and, and if, if a show does do that, then it's probably going to be one of those shows that does actually hit the home, you know, hit the ball over the fence. It does hit the home run. So that's something that I'm really excited to see going further into the show. But now let's dive into the other main thing of this uh, episode. I can't remember his name, but the guy that had the, took the bolt to the face and his, he bit the dude's finger off. Like, that was insane. That was absolutely insane. I mean, outside of, like, if we look at the bear scene, like, we, we got to see a hanging face. A face was ripped off. Not censored. They showed it. They showed the dudes mangled. Like, we saw in the first episode of this show, it's like, whoa, we're seeing things go through people's head. Not censored. It's not like the face gets blackened out or the weapon gets blackened out and we just see blood. No, we get to see, like, the whole, we get to see everything. They showed, <laughs> there's no censoring going on. If there is... I, in what world? I mean, I mean, the only thing we ever seen is organs hanging out of people's bodies. But I mean, I guess that's kind of some, some censorship. But I mean, we saw a man's face just hanging. So I mean, eh, we saw a man's finger get bit off. But that guy's nuts. Let's hop back onto that here. So this guy, he has a temper. Obviously, I was wondering. wondering I was like, okay, he says his frontal lobe got messed up. It's like, does he have a really bad temper per because of this or what? And he said, yeah, my temper kind of gets freaking hot it just spikes i get really pissed off in a matter of seconds and apparently you know knowing that that guy's that crazy how in the hell did he get those division members to follow him because we see like the commander whatever he was you know the person in charge of that division and or i guess that squad per se he got shot right in the back he said he, he said fire shoot him and they shot him instead so i mean that's something that i want to know like what did this man how did he coax them into following his leadership especially if he's this nuts and then of course we do get to see the swordsman guy that we have learned about and how he's a badass and he's gathering too i mean so it looks like they have their own squad they have he had like mob dudes behind him with guns so there's that also at the same time but hopping into the last few things we do get to see that the old lady wants to have sugimoto marry uh a spear and i i was wondering if the show's gonna go that route i didn't know but i mean now it just seems as if it's kind of subtly foreshadowing that whether it's just a joke just for shits and giggles or whenever she is actually legal age they will marry i mean i'm not sure exactly how old sugimoto is i mean it could be something to where sugimoto's like 21 and she's i don't know 15 something like that you know what i mean just like six years apart so that's something that i wonder what's gonna you know what's gonna how that and what you know what's gonna transpire with all that you know so i mean the idea of a cool relationship i think the relationship's really funny i think it's a great chemistry i mean the baby bear scene he's like i'll be its mommy <laughs> we see that he's such a badass but then he's such a goofball too at the same time it's just like oh my gosh dude so like is that i don't even know if he's a childish goofball like he's just a, a goon in general dude so other than that though looking down at my notes i think oh one last thing we did not cover everything I look at the whole scene to where um, <laughs> where they talk about the kids' names, and they their names are based off of filthy things and are have filthy filthy meanings because it scares the demons away apparently. So I think a spirit was grandfather like technically it meant grandfather's butthole in a way, but then at the same time there's other meanings apart from that. And then there's also the kid that was named after Dun Dung Poop. So. I, to know what parents usually name me. 
something like that, just to scare away demons, I just be like, you name me poop. You name me poop, man. Like, come on. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But other than that, guys, make sure leave a like, a comment, subscribe, follow me through X25, and definitely leave down in the comments below your guys' thoughts about some of the hilarious stuff in this episode, especially the, the naming thing. Uh, gosh. And what do you think about the crazy antagonists that are coming into play? So, see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.